tonight we're going to make a fish pie. I've already done a couple of preps for this because obviously it would have gone on and taken a long time if I hadn't. So I've already cooked up my potato which I've mashed and tonight I've mashed it with black pepper which you'll obviously see, uh, some grated onion, raw onion and some cheese. So that'll just be for over the top of the pie. I've also already blanched my broccoli. So the broccoli has been cooking now for just five minutes or so because you're not wanting it soft. I'm going to drain it into this jug because tomorrow I'm going to make soup. So the broccoli stock will go in the soup. You don't want to waste anything. So we'll just, not matter if there's a wee bit liquid left in it, let's take it off the heat. And the fish. Now I'm just using haddock tonight. Obviously it's up to yourselves what your preference is, but I'm using smoked haddock because I think it gives a lovely flavour to the fish pie. So we're just going to drain it into a sieve for a second because we're going to use the milk. So the fish was actually cooked in probably to about 350 mils of full fat milk with some white pepper in it. We'll just make sure we've got it all out. Now if you don't like the skin, just peel it off. Peel it off once it's cooked, that makes it much easier. But that was probably enough for that just now. I'll just get a wee plate and pop it into it. And we'll just set them aside just now. We can take that off the heat for the minute because you're wanting it just to cool down ever so slightly for when you're making the sauce. Back to our frozen veg. Quite often I just use uh, sweet corn but I had this in from the other night. So about 150 grams again, still frozen as you can hear, straight into the, the dish on the bottom because that just gives you a base. See we've split some of it up and then your cooked broccoli or blanched broccoli over the top. let my fish cool a wee bit before I start to work with it. The reason I actually blanched the the broccoli, I mean you could have actually put it in raw but it's given it a lovely dark colour. Just cooking it up for five minutes or so in some salted water has given it a really lovely dark colour which contrasts with the fish quite nicely. We can maybe work, no we'll leave that for a second, we'll just do the sauce. So I'm needing some butter going straight into the pan here. About 25 grams. Have a little bit of milk handy for my corn flour, which I know I've put it out. Here it is. And we're just making a, a fish stock sauce. So Dessert spoon and a half of corn flour, mix it into some milk and then we're going to just add this slowly to the sauce so as it doesn't go lumpy and then bring it back onto the heat in a second. Just put that in there. You're wanting to do this quite quickly because it has a terrible habit of getting a skin on it. And we're trying not to have it overflowing because I've just done it. Anyway, we were on a bit of a time limit so I couldn't, I'm not Nigella Lawson or whoever can go away and just, you know, have other people just cleaning up for them or uh, here's the one I made earlier because I haven't made one earlier because this is our dinner as per usual. One thing I will say to you about this, I think you should take a note of the time and the date. There is no garlic going in my fish pie. One of the few things that I'm actually cooking that doesn't have garlic in it. We don't need it in this. I just have this coming up to the, it should, it should actually come to the boil quite quickly because it was obviously, you're not starting it from cold. Have your oven on. The oven's on at 180. 
So that works out again, probably about 375, gas mark 45. I would maybe double check some. Um, it's a long time since I've had a Fahrenheit oven. And even longer since I had a gas one. In fact, remember when I had my gas oven, oh gosh, way back in the 80s. I lived in a, a flat in Hindland. And I came home from my work at night, straight into the house, and I could smell gas. So I knew, you know, don't put lights on or anything like that. So I phoned the gas board. So it was from the fire, there was something that had choked it. So they came home, uh, they came out and they, they cleaned up the fire, so that was fine. And they asked if I had any other appliances in my house. So of course I said, well, my kitchen. So he went through, he took one look at it and he disconnected it there and there. He said, it's obsolete. I'm like, you can't disconnect my cooker. How am I going to make my dinner? Well, I mean, he did. He just refused. He said he, he, there was no way he could leave my house knowing that he had left that cooker behind. I'd been cooking on it for three years. <laughs> it had never done me any harm. Anyway, I suppose it would, uh, I would have been complaining if uh, something had happened to me. Maybe I wouldn't have. I might not have been still here to have been complaining. Right, we've got this up to the, the heat now. And now you don't have to. This is entirely up to yourself. I mean, some cheese, you know, I'm going to put in, it's not a lot actually, 150 grams of cheese. So we're just going to add it, take it off the heat so it doesn't curdle. And I'm not going to put it all in because I'm going to just put some over the top of the fish. Mix it in obviously, just till it melts. Because this, you're not needing this to be a cheesy, cheesy sauce. Touch of parsley, probably about a teaspoonful. I work with dry, uh, with dry goods all the time because, well, apart from the fact that they're obviously handy, I hate food waste. And if I buy the parsley plants or whatever, I mean, it's fine if it's in the summer because then I just put what I don't use them straight into the garden and hope they grow. But I mean, I, I just, I hate food waste. Right, that looks like it's melted. Oh, and actually, just before I forget to, when we were talking about the garlic granules the other day, so I went and bought some more today so as you could see them. So these were just Lidl, 55 pence from Lidl, and it is literally just garlic granules. So they just go into everything for me, so they're absolutely super. I think we're getting a really nice close-up of this. <laughs> okay, I think we can go backwards. I need to start watching. Kenny and I have a bit of a, like a double act goes on, and uh, <laughs> if we get into our stride, it'll be like is it Fanny and Johnny or something that Fiona was talking about the other day. I'm going to take some of the skin off because, as you know, I've got a, a not well cat, so he can benefit from what we don't eat. Keep them reasonably big chunks. Straight over the top of the broccoli. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Definitely hot. Now if you want, if you you know, if you have um, some frozen prawns or anything in, in the fridge, the freezer rather, just put them straight in. You don't need to cook them. They'll cook themselves. Obviously, you can buy fish packs, you know, in, in the supermarkets and things, salmon and things in them. But I, I like the smoked fish. I think it gives a lovely flavour to your pie. I'll be going to the a &E in a minute. My fingers are so burning here. We'll just pull it out, pull it off the skin. Some of it, if it comes away, fine and dandy. If not, it won't matter. It doesn't bother me eating the skin, but I mean, I, I know there's a lot of people find it a little bit off-putting. And that is the fish strip. This is for four. I mean, I, I'm only cooking for two these days, but, well, I can have a night off cooking tomorrow night, because we can just have this again. Pour in your sauce over the top. I probably should have washed my fingers, I'm feeling them greasy. I'll just go back and do it. Straight over. To keep 
cute by Adam's down as well. We watched uh, the spaghetti one back on the Truly Scottish TV, put it up on the smart telly. And my elbows are everywhere, so I'm needing to learn to put my elbows down. But we'll get there one of these days. And then, it's as simple as this. I mean, this really is a quick and easy dinner. Oh, I should have left one of these out. Potato over the top. If you've got time, by all means, pipe it on. Make it into nice fancy swirls if you want. But I... Oh, I forgot to put my cheese on. Never mind. We'll just put it over the top of the potato instead. I was, I was going to just put the, the cheese, the extra layer of cheese there. And that way, when you cut into it, you can have some of the melted cheese coming away. But we'll just put it over the top of the potato and that'll make it look nice and golden. So this time I shall give my fingers a quick dunk. Got everything up out of the road so as it's the pretense of not being messy. People that know me will know that the opposite to be true. And Kenny says I'm the only person in the world that can come in here and boil an egg and make it look like the end of the world is, is, is nigh. So that's us. Just to be safe rather than uh, getting a dirty oven. Put it on a tray. This is already in. Underneath, 35 to 45 minutes. I would check it after 55 because you're not wanting it to, to burn. But it could take 45 minutes. But bearing in mind, your broccoli's at least been blanched, so it's partly cooked already. The fish is almost cooked, so it's not as though you're actually cooking anything other than the frozen veg. So 35 to 45 minutes will be more than enough. We'll come back then and just see what it's like when we come out of the oven. Okay, my pie's just had 40 minutes. It's going to be likely a little bit messy in here, which is why we put it on the tree. Open door open. Oh, looks good enough to eat. I did come back and put the cheese over the top. I had forgotten to do it after me saying I would. But there we have our fish pie. I'll actually serve a portion to see what like it is. Heated plates in the microwave as always. Oh, I hate using oven gloves. My mum keeps buying me them because she, she keeps saying Oh, are you going to burn your hands and things? Oh, I just hate using them. I find them very cumbersome. So, nice big dollop. Straight onto the plate. Make sure you come back, get some of that lovely sauce. And there you have super easy to make homemade pie with no additives or anything in it because you've been in control of what went into that. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs>